Hi, I'm Simona Bonanno and I'm Italian. I was born in Sicily, in southern Italy, and I grew up between uh, Messina, my city, and Paris, uh, uh, where I studied and lived for a long time. I presently live in Sicily, a charming land that everybody knows and loves, uh, a land that is overwhelmed by the light. The German writer uh, Goethe once said, where the light is brightest, the shadows are deepest. And this is the way I feel my land, light and darkness, love and hate. But being a woman photographer is not harder here than everywhere. As women, we certainly have more difficulties to approach some stories or places, mostly all over the world. But I think the problem is also the way people think about the work of a woman photographer. Often they imagine a sensibility or sentimentalism or empathy that doesn't exist. I am mostly an artist. I had an artistic education and photography came quite late. But in photography, I certainly put all my background, all the paintings I did, all book, books I read, all the masterpieces I saw, and all the artworks I imagine or planned or dream about. Uh, I am the way I photograph. And for this reason, it's very hard for me to re uh, reply uh, to the simple question, which kind of photographer am I? I'm eclectic, I change, I discover, I fall in love with the story and I want to tell it. So um, photography is the fastest and easiest way for me to do it. For example, my work never started four years ago by coincidence. I met this kid and we became closer. And day by day, I knew her environment, her habits, or family and horses. I started to take pictures later. And the more I did it, the more my camera was invisible, just an object in my hand and not an obstacle between us. Horses is also my own world. So photography is, it was uh, taking picture, was a kind of playing uh, between us. And we did it in the lazy afternoons, not every day, not um, planned and never for a long time. This game allowed me to understand her world and her way to feel and to live with horses and with people. And how, day by day, it developed thanks to the animals. So, thank you, grazie and ciao ciao!